Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Thank you, up. So Sam ordered winter hay. Um, we just gave them one for November, December, January, February, March, and April. Wait, what? Yeah. Anyways, our goes our horses have, <laughs> have been going through about a bale a month. I mean, they only went through one, and it's only it was only one month. So we don't know if they're going to. But look at the difference in size, or maybe they're on a hill. Those three are huge. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> I can't do it. You failed. We we'll have to get the ladder, but yeah, there will be some sitting on these things. There will be some taking okay. some pictures on these things. Put your knee there so okay. I can stand on your knee. All right. Go. Oh, okay. I can't do that. Your knee's not bent enough. Okay. Go. Ah, wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go. Oh! <laughs> I can't do it. They're like, put me up there, put me up there. Come here, Danny. Anyway, good morning and welcome to today's video. Have I got a story to tell you? It's only noon and we've already lived a whole day. I forgot the camera at home. <laughs> it's supposed to be 18 degrees today, which is summer. It's like, like 68 or something. It's supposed to be really, really nice and it is nice, but it's cloudy. And it's not like summer, summer. But anyways, we went to the sales bar. no, sit down here so we can tell them together. We did our chores. We did our homeschool. We did all the stuff that we always have to do. So then I had to go get goat grain. So we decided to go to the sales barn. I didn't have a camera with me. So I'm like, oh, we'll probably find something we like there now. Because I didn't have the camera with me. So we go in and what did we see? Baby goats. So many baby goats. Like two pens filled with just tiny, tiny baby goats. Nigerian dwarf and pygmy. So we're looking at them. I'm like, oh, Sophie, I'm sure they're all boys. And what happened when you picked them all up? They were all boys. <laughs> they were all boys, except there was a girl. And so I'm looking at her. She's not super fancy or flashy or anything, but she, I'm pretty sure she was pulled. So if you don't know what pulled means, it means that they have the gene for not growing horns. And I want to introduce that into our into our herd. We hate horns and we don't want to have to be bothered getting them dehorned or getting them um, burned off. So something I definitely wanted to breed into our, our herd. So if you have like, if a baby gets a gene for polled, which means no horns, and horns, the polled is a dominant gene. So if a baby gets two genes for, like two, two different genes, they'll always be polled. It was all boys, but this one little girl. I'm like, I would buy her. I would buy her. We don't have an account there because we don't ever buy animals there. And I don't know how to do an auction. Like they talk so fast. I don't, I don't get it. I'm like, Sophie, we're not getting this. We're not getting this dough. And she's like, no, we can ask our friend. So we do have a friend that goes to the auction. He sells his cows there every week. We never see him. Like we sometimes see his truck. Never see him ever. Like we don't ever see him there. I'm like, Sophie, but you're not like messaging him. She's like, yeah, I have this other person's number. We can just ask him to tell him. And I'm like, no, Sophie, we're not like for one dough. And I said, they probably sell them in lots. So that one dough probably has to go to with all those little baby bucks. We're like, we're not getting it. Like, just let's go. It's no big deal. We never buy any goats from here anyways. Let's just go home. Do we not walk out the door and run right into the man? Like we've been going there for years and we've, I've seen him like from afar occasionally, but like maybe once in five years, never see him walk right out the door and he's there. And Sophie is beside his truck so fast. And she's like, I need you to buy me this baby goat. And he says, how much do you want to spend? So but first he said, what's the number? Yeah. And then he says, and then I said, well, like how much do they go for? And he tells me how much they go for. And I'm like, oh. That's so cheap, like, so then he says, well, I can't buy it if I don't know the number. Poof, Sophie pulls it out of her head. Can't remember a spelling word to save her life. Remembers this little doe's number. I'm like, what the heck? So anyways, the whole point of the story is that I think God's trying to tell us that we need this little doe. So we're gonna wait and see. He's gonna take it to his house and then we're gonna stop by later if he gets it. So we might be getting another little doe, which yeah. is so dumb because- I already have a name. Yeah, and I love the name. So that's the thing about life and following God's lead is that 
oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes when things just happen so easily and so smooth and they just seem to fall into your lap, lots of times that's a sign from God that it's meant to happen. And everything about this little dough seems meant to happen. So I feel like we'll definitely get her. He's really good. Like He's been there for, he's done that for years and years and years at the auction. He knows what he's doing. So a little later in today's video, if we get a new baby doe, which is going to be hard to integrate her into the into the herd it's hard to I mean, reiterated a cat to a bunch of dogs yeah we did that this kitten happened the exact same way sam and i were talking this morning and he we were like she's perfect she is the best little indoor cat go let the dogs out please literally we brought this little kitten we locked her in gabby's room thinking like oh she's gonna hate the dogs this cat literally is the best cat we've ever had she handles the dogs no problem she's not scared of them she takes care of herself. She eats perfect. She uses her litter pan perfectly. She doesn't give us a single problem, does she? No. Stop chasing us. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> the chicken shenanigans are really funny. Oh, watch this. <laughs> you. you. <laughs> if I run, something gets so, so worried. No. So today. We should. No, today is Sophie's lesson. She wants to bring Willow. So I could do half ride and half shoulder chip. But I didn't know you can do that all in storm. Okay, but I want to practice with Willow. You can practice at home with Willow. That baby just loves her. If she has eyes for anybody else, she doesn't understand it. Oh, it's because Storm's pushing her. Sophie's gonna take out the baby's braids. She braided her yesterday. Willow wants to go. Willow does want to go. She could use it too, because she's a chunker. So we need to clean this sucker out. Up here. Yeah, that is not how you clean it out. I want to clean that out. We are cleaning out the trailer and this is our, this is our crew. These are the people watching us, helping us, yeah, making sure we do it right. They're the foremen. All right, so this is our tack area. It is disgusting. It's always disgusting. And the reason it's disgusting is because we have this board and it's really hard to work past it. It's hard to lift it up and move it out of the way. It's awkward. So all of our stuff ends up getting shoved in here and then just left. So who, who even knows what amazing horse stuff we have? Like we, Sophie and I literally fought over one of these bags yesterday because we couldn't find any other ones. And here they are. I'm gonna, uh, this has to stay in here. This is to tie your horse up if you go places. All right, so this is all Sam stuff. Can you take that in and hang it up for me, please? This is definitely my grooming bag. You guys stay in here because you're chicken chasers. They don't chase the cat because the cat would kick their butt, but they chase the chickens. It's almost Christmas, guys. <laughs> so I wanted to clean up the trailer because we are going to be doing the Christmas Santa Claus parade. And that means we have to figure out what we're costumes we're using. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Those batteries worked all through winter and everything. I kind of want to bring a goat. That is adorable. Um, do you have tarps for the hay? Uh, no, not yet. So Sam is gonna tarp up the hay. I am gonna attempt to wash all of our horse blankets before the season. But what I really wanna do is figure out what Ellie can wear to the Santa Claus parade. I swear we put this on baby goats last year, but I'm gonna try this on, on Ellie. I might have to sew it a bit to make it tighter. Ellie! So I'll have to sew it probably because it's a little bit big. Come here, Ellie, here. But she could be Santa Claus. I think I might try and get something else, something longer to fit down over her bum. And I might have some shirt, uh, some sweaters in the house. Dora was actually sweating buckets. He saw, he turned around and saw the whip and he was like, oh. Yeah, Sam just has to hold a whip and that's his, his trick. But Sophie didn't even have to ride with a prop today at all. Barely and he was forward. What? Barely had to use leg. Yeah, that's amazing. 
So we're here. We just came to watch Elizabeth ride. It's not her lesson, but she just came to ride. We came to watch her because why? Why are you here, Elizabeth? Because I bought the horse. She bought the horse. So are we going to introduce him? Yes. So she's just out there riding around, just loving life. This is her very first ever horse. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Hayden. Hayden. His name is Hey Hey Hayden. And what kind of horse is he? He's a thoroughbred. How tall is he? 16'3". 16'3". Is he fast? Well, is, he's being good. Like, yeah, he's, he's been so calm. It's yeah. like he, it's like he really, remember you rode him and he was, and you were like, I need this horse. I bet you he was like, I need this kid. And then. And so now I, I got him and now he's being good. And now he's so calm. Anyway, this is him and he's, his, he's gorgeous. Here we go. So, oh, there's his ears. He always has those ears and the guy loves to jump. Are you allowed to jump? No, just flat for right now. Yeah, so when she's out riding, she's only, without a trainer, she's only allowed to flat. Yep. And isn't he cute though? And when he rides, he sticks his tongue out all the way out and it's so funny, but he's super athletic. Everybody wants you to have a YouTube channel. I'll see, I'll try. All right, I'll help you. Okay. Just do shorts. Okay, I will. To get started, it's so easy. Okay. All right. All right, I'll show you guys. Can we show them a little ride? Yeah. All right, he's having a rest. This is Hayden. He's actually standing still. I know. Actually, this is. He's standing still. He never does. No. Look he, at this. I know. He's perfect. I love yeah. him. <laughs> she loves him. <laughs> yeah. He's so nice. And I got my own locker. She got a locker. I'll show you it. She got a bridle. She got this breastplate. breastplate. A girth. She got a girth. And we gave her a saddle. We're hoping we're it fits. See, yeah. We're gonna see if it fits. She hasn't brought it yet. She's riding a Brandon's saddle. Feels like time is going faster than it seems We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep Remember every weekend we stayed out late and then went home to me I wish that I could live that dream, live that dream again Cause it was only you Growing up said we'd be on forever You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You and me, baby, it was you and me